Hello and welcome to another roundup of shortwave oddities, the seemingly weekly at the moment series designed to get you into shortwave monitoring. Let me know what radio you use in the comments below and what you've been listening to this week. First, let's head to 5838kHz and a new signal that's appeared this week. Heard here on March the 21st, it sounds like a constant unbroken buzzer, or the droning sound that can sometimes be heard behind the buzzer. Analyzing the two signals, you can see similarities between them, and if you don't know what the buzzer is, I'll link plenty of videos in the description. The following night, this constant drone changed to include this new style of pip we've been hearing recently a sort of hybrid between the buzzer and the pip. For reference, this is what the buzzer sounds like when it's healthy and working OK. The evening of March the 22nd, however, saw the buzzer played by music players and other strange sounds. Just a few kilohertz up the band, another strange carrier has appeared, which seems to be active 24-7 with no voice interruptions. Let me know if you heard this and what you think it might be. Further up on 5110 kHz, we saw another strange twin carrier signal appear this week too. So plenty of oddities appearing on the bands. Are they pirates? Are they official military signals? It's anyone's guess. Now let's look at the state of play with the six new pip markers that originally appeared in late February. If you're unfamiliar with these, then watch the videos linked in the description below to get yourself up to speed on what's been going on. I've drawn up this chart to show what they've been doing, and I've also published three videos on this which I'll use as the timeline of events if that makes sense. Firstly, 6230kHz started as a pip, which sounded like this. And then turned into a drop that sounded like this. As we run through the next set of frequencies, all pips sound the same, and all drops sound the same. Now, this frequency is still being used to send the drop, but does seem to be interfering with another station.
6930 kilohertz did exactly as above, a pip, then a new drop, which has continued ever since. 6322 kilohertz started playing this Russian folk song called Katyusha, before turning into a pip, which then stopped shortly after, and the frequency has been clear ever since. Five seven eight zero kilohertz started as a pip, which turned into a drop, which is still going now. Six two one eight kilohertz also started as a pip and then disappeared. It then started playing the drop signal, but listening on the evening of March the twenty second revealed a song by Lube being played on the frequency, and I apologise for any bad pronunciation. Lyub are a Russian nationalistic rock band from Moscow Oblast, and the song was from the Volga to the Yenisei. This pretty much confirms that all of these pip and drop frequencies are being operated by pirates. And finally, 6402 kilohertz, which started with the pip before going silent, is now back on the air playing the drop. Before I go, remember the ticking clock signal on 6911kHz Well, March the 22nd saw a different signal altogether playing on that frequency. It sounded like this. It didn't last long before the ticking clock returned. So that's this week's roundup of shortwave oddities. Let me know if you heard them or any others in the comments, and be sure to check out the videos in the description to catch up on what's been going on.